So uh, another problem that, that comes up in various contexts is uh, context is what I think of as the rowboat problem. Um, this is basically the reason I put this in is just to show you how frequently uh, triangles come up in uh, related rates problems. The um, this problem often appears uh, either as a rowboat or sometimes as flying a kite or uh, sometimes uh, there's a truck that's that's pulling some cargo. Uh, you have to. Uh, uh, you really just have to be able to spot the triangle once you, uh, you know, once you draw the picture from from what's given. So in this problem, we have a rowboat uh, is attached by a rope to a pulley that sits on a dock five meters above the water. I'm drawing, I've drawn that here. So we have, this is five meters, and here you can see at the top is the pulley, and this purple line is the rope. So um, the rope is being pulled at a rate of six meters per minute. In other words, in this diagonal direction, it's being pulled that way at six meters per minute. And the question is, how fast is the rowboat moving toward the dock when the length of the rope is 13 meters? So let's assign variables very precisely. Recall that the the, the rule on whether, whether something gets a variable is this. I don't ever want you to forget this. The rule on whether something gets a variable is if it can change. If it's capable of changing in the problem, it gets a variable. If it's not capable of changing in the, during the course of the problem, you don't need a variable. It's just a constant. There's no reason to give a variable name to something that's constant. So for example, in this problem, you would certainly not give a variable name to the height of the dock because it's not variable. It can't change. The height is not on, on some sort of lift or elevator that can change it. It's always going to be 5. Just the same, in the falling ladder problem where we said that the, uh, the ladder itself was 5 meters, you would never give a variable name to the length of the ladder because it's, it's not variable. So similarly, uh, sorry, not similarly, but let's uh, let's assign the variables for the things that can change. What we can see is that there's there's a distance x. This is the distance in meters between the boat and the dock. And I'm going to give this the name L. This is the length of the rope. So L is length of rope in meters, not m, in meters, like that. There we go. And then, of course, there's time. This is the time in, we have minutes in the in the problem, so we're going to measure it in minutes. Since drifting, or I shouldn't say drifting, because the boat's not really drifting, since, um, since pulling began. There we go. So in these terms, uh, what is the problem looking for? It's looking for uh, the rate at which the boat is moving. In other words, what we want to know is how fast is this distance changing with respect to time. So the problem is looking for dx over dt. Now, we need to find equations that relate the variables. Like I said, triangles are very common here. This is a right triangle. L is the hypotenuse. We can just read right off this triangle at x squared plus 5 squared is equal to L squared, or 5 squared is 25. So the equations are x squared plus 25 equals L squared. And we can also tell from the problem that uh, 6 meters per minute is, uh, that's the rate at which the rope is being pulled. So we can see is that the rope, which is length L, is getting shorter at the rate of 6 meters per minute. That means that its rate of change is negative, because it's going, the rate, the actual quantity L is going down. So uh, that means that we would say that DL over dt is equal to negative 6. OK, so now we're going to just differentiate. x squared plus 25 equals l squared. We can just differentiate that the same way we did in the latter problem. That's 2x dx dt, because we're differentiating with respect to time, not one of the variables given here. Derivative of 25 is 0. And derivative of l with respect to time is 2l dl dt. So. Uh, there we go. That's the equation. Write it a little bit more compactly as 2x dx dt equals 2l dl dt, like that. And now we're just going to solve. We're used to solve for the for the rate that we want. Uh, we see that uh, dx dt is the rate that we want. So 2x dx dt equals 2l dl dt. I'm just going to divide both sides by 2x and get dx dt is equal to 2l over 2x dl dt. And I guess since these twos cancel, I'll just erase them. And that's the, this is what we're looking for. So um, we're asked in the problem, uh, 
how fast is the uh, rowboat moving toward the dock when the length of the rope is 13 meters? So what that tells us is that L, the length is 13 meters, um, we're not given x, we're going to need x in the equation that we found, but since this is a right triangle, we can easily see that x is equal to the square root of L squared minus 5 squared. And um, we don't really have to do that because we can, we, I think that many of you know from geometry that there, that one of the Pythagorean triples is 5, 12, 13. Uh, if you solve it, I promise you're going to get x equals 12, but uh, just know that if you have a right triangle where one side is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13, uh, it's guaranteed that the other that the other side is going to be 12. So um, so that means that this is going to be the length, which is 13, over 12, and we found before that dl dt is uh, negative 6. So that's negative 6. That comes out to negative 13 over 2, which is negative 6.5 meters per minute. So what that means, so we see that the uh, the rate of change of the, of the length of the rope is negative 6.5 meters per minute. By the way, this came out negative, of course, because we know that the rope is getting shorter. So if we're asking, you know, at what rate is the is the rope is the length of the rope changing, we're certainly going to get a negative number. Uh, or sorry, I did uh, sorry, not it's not the rope. I apologize for that. Uh, this is dx dt. We can see that if the rope is getting shorter, it's pulling the boat toward the dock. So it makes sense that this number x, that's what I meant to say, the number x is actually getting, uh, the number x is actually getting smaller. So that's why we get a negative number for dx dt, because x is getting smaller. I should point out that the question is actually phrased as how fast is the rowboat moving toward the dock? So it would be completely correct also to answer this question as saying the boat is moving toward the dock at 6.5 meters per minute without the negative sign. So uh, how do I resolve this? You're going to ask, well, wait, do I answer negative, do I answer positive? Well, it depends on how you're answering. It's certainly correct to say that the number dx dt is a negative number. Then to answer the exact question in words, is since the question is how fast is the boat moving toward the dock, you would, you, you would answer that as a positive number to answer, uh, so that's, that's the answer.